Okay, um, here is the theory center in Bielefeld again. Um, my name is Lars Deiler and uh, we have a second interviewer. I'm Harry Jens. And our guest today is François Artoc. Good morning. Um, François, you are one of the best known scholars in the field of historical theory today. Your characterization of the current regime of historicity as presentist has received high attention. What are you working on at the moment and how is this related to uh, your own past? <laughs> uh, well, uh, I'm working always on the same question, okay. <laughs> which is not so surprising. That must all, be an important question. After all, <laughs> which is, yeah. um, let's to say, to try to understand what kind of time do we have today? In what kind of time are we? What kind of experience of time do we have? And, but I try to do it uh, from a different perspective or from a different, uh, uh, starting from a different point. And because Regime of Historicity, it's a book which um, was conceived on a nearly 20 years ago now. That does not mean that I don't still think that presentism as a diagnosis on can be is no longer useful. But of course, in 20, 20 years, um, the the present has changed, mm -hmm. <laughs> and and so um, we have to. If you want to face the present as it is today, um, I think I have to uh, take on this uh, to not to to not to uh, abandon this diagnosis, but to make it more um, more more complicated, mm -hmm. and also um, to uh, take into account the thing which happened in the past 20 years. Mm -hmm. So to answer your question now, uh, I, what I'm doing is to write what I call Regime of Historicity 2, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. and, okay. and, and, uh, but starting from far away, as I like always to do, uh, that is from the beginning of, the very beginning of um, Christianism. Mm -hmm and looking at re reading, as I like to do, mm -hmm. uh, reading text and reading the first uh, Christian text, that means the New Testament, mm -hmm. in order to um, try to define what is or what might be a Christian regime of historicity. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. interesting. Okay, okay let's uh, come to the second question. You are the first Reinhard Koselek Gast guest professor here in Bielefeld, and there is an urban legend around here that you were an assistant of Reinhard Koselik, which is a nice legend. Um, but anyway, if you, if, you had just, if you had the chance to meet him today, what would you do with him? What would you talk about? Oh, I think we many things. Um, and probably he would be very much interested by what's going on now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, because uh, what he did is to, from, let's say, the 50s, 60s uh, of the 20th century, to conceive his uh, reflection and to organize his uh, uh, historic. Mm -hmm. But um, I think he is, in a way, before presentism. Mm -hmm. I mean, he went, he went through, but in, in terms of what he, his analysis and the, the tool, the, the intellectual tool that he offered, um, it, it's uh, much more related to the formation, development of the modern regime of historicity. Uh, and all these things about that, that on site and so on, and uh, at the but in the end, at the end of his life, he moved, uh, I think, quite a lot, 
and was working on introducing the memory uh, dimension the memory dimension and and is old memory mm -hmm. and so he was trying to uh, reflect uh, as an historian as an let's say an intellectual historian or uh, someone doing theory of history mm -hmm. but taking into account explicitly that something we didn't he did not do before earlier taking into account explicitly his own historical experience that means of the 30 mm. of the war mm. Mm. yeah if we come uh, uh, from one per important person to maybe another um, mm. if you had to explain let's say to angela merkel <laughs> um, what effects presentism has on her what would you tell her how would you explain this to her mm. Well, now, anyway, uh, Angela Merkel is a history. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah. As the, uh, the Americans are used to say. Mm. <coughs> But <coughs> more seriously, I think that uh, she probably sh she was not aware of that, mm. of this... Uh, uh, presentism, if we agree to uh, this uh, notion, um, because she, I think that through her own experience, this life in the dead area, mm -hmm. uh, his um, formation, um, she was, I think, quite in the modern regime still. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not, not uh, the... Uh, How we did say that, not an extreme, mm -hmm. um, at the extreme, but but she was there. So that was the, this idea of progress and uh, mm -hmm. everything. And and uh, but she 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 was confronted at the all politicians around the world uh, uh, to this new experience of time. That means this presentism, and she. So she was in a way taken in that also, mm -hmm. and she has to behave as politicians do. That means she was supposed to react very quickly, and she did not like to, to do that. As you, you see, mm -hmm. you know, she, she preferred to wait, to take her time mm -hmm. before to do this or to say that, and to be very. And that, in a way, she's already an old fashioned politician, I would say. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Okay, um, as the theory center, we are obviously interested in, in theory of history. And so the next question is, uh, how do you see theoretical approaches to histories in, in years to come, including um, sort of the fate of your own work that you do? Fate, and a big word. Mm. Uh, <laughs> the future of your work. <laughs> I, uh, well, of course, I don't know as far as my work is concerned. And uh, as you know, you are not in the best position to <laughs> know um, what if people are going to use it or to uh, misuse it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But there is no... Um, I mean, they can do what they want, mm. even if you don't like what they do. Mm -hmm. But you have no right to say no, well, that's not... Well, and most of the time, I would say no, many times... The, what happens is misunderstanding, mm. but, the, and, but misunderstanding might be useful, mm -hmm. mm. not always. It depends how it, it, it happens, whether it's uh, simply because someone wants to prove that he is right and you are wrong, mm -hmm. so to, to uh, promote mm -hmm. himself or herself, or if it's a, it's a genuine, so to speak, misunderstanding. Mm -hmm. And it, I mean, you, if you look at the history of disciplines, um, they uh, advance, they move on through, quite often through misunderstanding. Mm -hmm. I think from 
you read someone and you think that this or that and from then from there you elaborate your own uh, your own uh, approach your mm -hmm. own uh, mm -hmm. questionnaire so it can be so you have different kinds of misunderstanding yeah. okay and uh, as for the future of history of course I don't know but I think that we had recently all these debates about global history mm -hmm. and um, we, and very quickly I mean the the, the, mm -hmm. the shift toward global things global global everything um, was very quick and global historians now um, or pro so, to proclaim global historians um, are in a way in the front in the front line mm -hmm. because they are the one who are seen as um, in, in a way in charge of the discipline mm -hmm. and I'm not sure that uh, they are aware of their responsibility and uh, does global history be um, a new the new or a new concept of history or is it simply a new uh, dimension mm. of history or a new uh, territory because the historian likes to speak in terms mm -hmm. of territory. So the, that's an expansion mm -hmm. or a new territory mm -hmm. or is it really a new concept mm -hmm. which could replace the modern concept of history and I don't know but I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. So we come to, to the last, which is, um, in fact, um, a series of very short questions. We do a lightning round. This means we have always two, two terms for you. And the, these are either or questions where you have to decide for either the one or the other. First one is sea or mountains? Sea. Okay. The second one, ancient or modern? Both. Okay. <laughs> That's impossible. Okay. <laughs> Another one. Hegel or Ranke? Uh, well, neither. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, the next one is yesterday or tomorrow? Uh, today. Uh -huh. <laughs> Present <-ist. laughs> Presentist, yes. And the last one. History or theory? Both. <laughs> For me, there is no theory as such. Mm -hmm. And history without theory is poor. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Thank you for having you here in Bielefeld as well. Merci beaucoup, François. Thank you for your uh, generous hospitality. Yeah.